Hello friends at SBC. I hope you're all well despite all things pandemic. COVID-19 prevented us from coming to visit you all last year and this year is no different, which we're very sad about. I have so much to tell you about my work and what God is doing here in Cambodia. Lots of you will know all about me and my friend and my family already, but I'm sure there are some of you who are wondering who I am. My name is Sarah Chen and I started going back to I started going to SBC back in 1988 when I was 13 and my family and I had just moved to Seaford. After many adventures, in September 2000, SBC commissioned me to become a missionary to Cambodia and I've remained in Cambodia as a missionary ever since. Eight years ago, I founded an organisation in Cambodia called Maluk Rasei. Maluk Rasei has a Cambodian team of 32 and I am the strategic and technical advisor. Together we provide services for children and youth living in orphanages to be able to safely return to live with their own families and parents. We support care leavers to achieve long-term inclusion into communities and society, and we work to prevent children from being separated from their families. Partnership with the government is extremely important to be able to do this work. I've been working very closely with the Ministry of Social Affairs, Veterans and Youth Rehabilitation since 2003 and I am officially now the Technical Advisor to the Child Welfare Department. Over the years I've helped to draft the entire regulatory framework for alternative care, including policy, minimum standards, procedures, guidelines and national action plans. At the moment I'm helping to draft the guidelines on reintegration of children to their families the transition of orphanages to family-based care and the orphanage closure procedures as well as the legal procedures for foster care and kinship care. As the only missionary based in the Ministry of Social Affairs and I'm known to be a Christian by all the officials, a large part of my ministry is ensuring that policies, guidelines and procedures for the alternative care of vulnerable children in Cambodia are rooted in biblical principles. Malabrasay works very closely with the government authorities at all levels, helping to train officials how to implement policies, creating a database of all the vulnerable children in the areas Malabrasay works in, and providing services and interventions in the cases of abuse, exploitation, trafficking, and many other crisis situations where children are at extreme risk. One of the services provided by Malabrasay is emergency foster care, so that when children become hyper-vulnerable like that, they can be cared for in a Cambodian family and don't get put straight into an orphanage, which should never be the priority solution for any children. Malabrasay's emergency foster families have cared for children in every kind of crisis that you could imagine. Our team of social workers work to provide the support a child needs so that they can safely live with their parents, families or a long-term foster family in the future. We also offer legal services and therapy to the children themselves and their families if they need it. Cambodian policy, Cambodian government policy, which I helped to write of course, is that children develop better in a nurturing family and that placing a child in an orphanage should be the last resort and temporary. There are hundreds of orphanages all around the country, but 80% of the children residing in them still have living parents, while all have relatives who could be supported to care for them. We train orphanage directors to reunite children with their families. We also help them start up projects which help vulnerable families to care for their own children instead of taking the children away from their families. Mulabrasse provides children and youth who live in orphanages with vocational training, life skills, work experience, and for those living in Christian-run orphanages, there is a special practical training in how to live in a Cambodian community as a Cambodian Christian. This work is an extremely important part of preparing young people to leave institutional care and return to live in communities. And Mulabrasse supports those young people as they transition and then afterwards as well. The final piece of the puzzle is preventing children from being separated from their families in the first place. Mulabrasse supports local people who play important roles in the community, such as village chiefs, local councillors, pastors, monks and teachers to form community support groups and we train them how to access and use government resources to in identify and support vulnerable families. We train local church members to become role models to the youth in community, as well as those still living in the orphanages to mentor and coach them. 
We also support young people in communities to form youth peer action groups to gather the views of the children in community and the issues that they face and present them at commune meetings. I am honoured to be SBC's missionary to Cambodia to do this work, actively influencing how Cambodian children are nurtured and families strengthened by weaving God's love, his word, his light and his heart through all that Malaprase does, as well as Cambodia's own government strategic plans and policies. And I thank you all at SBC, past and present, for all the love, encouragement and support shown to me and to my family as we continue to work for his glory in Cambodia. Mm -hmm.